Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to be talking all about speaker coverage and ceiling height. Uh, how many speakers do you need for your space and what kind of uh, processes do we need to think through? So if you're looking to install uh, commercial ceiling speakers and you're looking for that one hard and fast rule of what you should do every time, unfortunately there's not a 100% certain um, rule that can apply for all speakers. Um, the reason for that is, is that different speakers have different ceiling coverages. You know, uh, most ceiling speakers um, are uh, rated on a conical basis, meaning basically it fires out from the speaker uh, in a cone or circle type shape. Um, so those are normally measured in degrees, so something like a 120 or a 100 degree conical shape is very standard uh, for ceiling speakers. Um, so because of those differences, we can't just use one um, rule as far as how, how far apart to put speakers. So we always need to uh, consider the size of the room, length and the width, ceiling height, the height of the uh, listener, the layout of the space, the speaker coverage pattern like I mentioned, uh, how we're going to be using it. Is it just light background music or is it uh, general announcements? Are we putting live bands through it or, you know, foreground level audio like a church? We need to kind of um, rein all that in uh, to, and as well as like how loud it is, uh, if there's spaces where we can't put speakers. We have to analyze all of that to figure out, you know, how far apart we should put speakers. Um, also, we want to make sure that we cover the entire space because if I've got a ceiling speaker directly over my head and somebody's 30 feet away, turning up this speaker louder doesn't make them hear any better. In fact, it actually just makes it even louder for me. Uh, so we, we want to make sure and distribute evenly throughout the entire space as much as possible. Um, so the positioning and the spacing of the speaker is key to make sure that everybody's comfortable here. Now, there is one rule of thumb, if you will, that you can use um, that's not exactly a hard and fast rule, but it at least is a good guide. And that is you never want to put a speaker, uh, speakers more than double the ceiling height apart. So if you've got a 12 foot ceiling, you never want to put speakers more than 24 feet apart. With almost all manufacturers, if you go beyond that, that's going to be too far away with most uh, ceiling heights uh, that you're not going to get good seamless coverage. Um, there also are some more in-depth formulas uh, that some other manufacturers have come up with uh, that we can definitely review, which has to do with the ceiling height and the ear level, and I'll show you guys a little bit more about that. So one formula from a manufacturer is that if you actually subtract the ceiling, uh, subtract the ear level height of the person sitting uh, or standing from the ceiling height itself and multiply that times two, you'll get the grid dimension of how far apart the speakers need to be uh, in both directions, uh, you know, horizontal as well as vertical in the ceiling. Uh, so the idea there is that if you take this large amount, you know, from the uh, roof, uh, you know, from the ceiling to the floor, and then basically subtract um, the distance uh, down to the person's head, and then multiply that times two, you basically get, uh, you know, the, uh, the grid dimensions. So in this application here, let's say that this ceiling is 12 feet high, and then let's say that a person's head is about 1.3 meters off the ground. So uh, let's call that um, times three, let's call that five feet off the ground. So that's basically, um, so that's basically 12 minus uh, 5, which gives us 7 times 2 equals 14. So that means in this application, we don't want the speakers more than 14 feet apart in any direction. Uh, so put a speaker every 14 feet, uh, which is very reasonable. Once again, well within that uh, double the ceiling height, which would be 24 feet apart. Um, that's a bit too far, uh, as mentioned, because if we go beyond that, we're not going to uh, have good coverage for making sure that somebody can hear well. Uh, we also want to make sure that we don't have too many speakers too close together because that can lead to phasing, uh, which is basically cancellation of sound waves because too many speakers are firing at the same location. Uh, there also is a variety of calculators out there and designers um, from uh, Bose has one as well as Biamp Systems, uh, SoundTube Spec uh, software is out there, and then also our own uh, Pure Resonance Audio has um, some uh, design rules for our 2x2 speaker brands. So. Uh, if you've got questions um, further on where to put speakers, how many speakers you need for your space, reach out to us. 
www.proacousticsusa.com. Uh, drop us a like, uh, subscribe so you can keep up to date with what we're doing, and let us know if we can help with anything. And until next time, guys.